Hey everybody, Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a Stampin' Show and Tell for you today, and I'm going to show off some new celebration stuff. So as you know, celebration starts at the beginning of January and goes through the end of March. But in the middle of February, they introduce a few extra items you can earn. So what you're looking at right now is called the Painted Seasons Bundle, and with a $100 purchase, you get the stamp set, right, which is a distinctive stamp set in the new Kling stamp, and this beautiful hand-painted designer series paper. So the designer series paper comes 12 to a pack and you get the four different designs, right, because they're double-sided. So you get four different designs and you get three of each. So instead of just getting two of each, you get three of each. So you can make that go a little farther if you're making a whole bunch of cards, which is what I just got finished doing. I had made a whole bunch of cards for a dental swap to show off some new items and so that made it really handy because I had to make 18 cards. So I'm going to show you that card in just a minute. We're going to do that as our show and tell for today, but I just wanted to show you this beautiful paper. Okay, again, this is the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper, and you get that with the Painted Seasons stamp set with a $100 order um, until the end of celebration. Now, for our card today, we're also going to be using uh, the new Country Floral textured impression folding folder. This is with a $50 purchase during celebration. Okay, that's really lovely. We're going to use that on our card. And then, this isn't available yet, but this is Four Seasons Framelits, and it coordinates with the Painted Seasons stamp set. And look, you get two dies for this guy, and you get two die cuts for that one and you get three for this little sprig here. So if you want to make multiple elements and not have to run your big shot through multiple times, you could stamp a bunch and then cut multiples. I like that they're doing that now with their dies. You can purchase this on March 1st. Uh, let me think. This is going to be $28 on March 1st, so that's halfway to a $50 item. Uh, so we're also going to have other framelits that coordinate with our celebration stamps available March 1st, so I'll be telling you more about those as they come available. But some of those favorite sets that you've been collecting during celebration, you're going to be able to get die cuts that go with them as well. So that's going to be really exciting. Okay, so, uh, so that's what I'm using for today's card. So let me show you the card. Here it is. Okay, I know that's kind of a weird way. So here, it's like a double Z. See how it's got the double fold? And then we're going to have this embellished piece here, and that's where I did the embossing folder, was on that panel there. Then I made some elements with my stamp set, and I used the designer series paper to back that up. And then I've left the inside blank, except for I've lined it, and I'm going to use a piece of the scrap DSP to decorate that, and then we've got our envelope. So, I'm going to show you how to put that together. Super easy. Okay, one, two, three. So let me go ahead and I'm going to put this over here. Try to lay that out a little bit so you can see it kind of on the side. All right, so let me get my kit out. So I'm using Poppy Parade as my card base. And I guess before we do anything, we should run it through the Big Shot. So let me get my Big Shot machine in here on the table. So here's the, oop, I'm going to need the handle to me, right? Here's the Big Shot machine. Let me open it up. I'm not going to need my precision plate for cutting. I need to do embossing. So I have one of the original platforms, so I open mine all the way up. And here is my embossing folder that I'm going to use. The new Country Floral Dynamic Folder. Now dynamic means it's thicker, so you only need to use one plate with it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss both of these end panels with the folder, but I'm going to leave the rest of it flat. So I'm just going to put this in my folder. Now I've been telling you to use that line to keep it straight, but actually this time I want to line up my crease right at the end of the folder. So I'm just going to put that in, and it's dynamic so it's thick, so I'm just putting one plate on top for my sandwich. And I'm going to run that through. Hopefully not shake my table too much. I shouldn't. And there we go. You see how I've got that 
country floral print on the end there. Easy enough. So now we're just going to fold up our card. And remember, all my dimensions will be on the tutorial on next Tuesday's newsletter, so don't worry that I'm not sharing them here. Just sign up for the newsletter down below or go visit the blog, pumpkinhillstampers.com, and you can sign up there as well, not only for the newsletter, but also for the blog posts. So let's put some of our pieces on. So we're going to put our DSP on. This is going to be the panel here in the back. I'll just cut that down to center it. On the inside, we're going to use a piece of Whisper White. And I decided to leave this one blank on the inside so I can kind of use it for whatever occasion I need it for. Sometimes that's a simpler way to do a card. And I just had three quarters of an inch of scrap. So I'm just going to use that to decorate the inside. Okay, so there's pretty simple so far, right? So now we're just going to create our elements. So I'm going to do Call Me Clover because it's coordinating color in the paper. I'm going to stamp two of these and see it's that distinctive stamp so it's got some uh, variegation in the leaves so it's kind of nice to just stamp it and you're ready to go. It's got dimension built in. I'm going to do one of these ferns and I decided to do it as a red fern. I wanted some contrast and then I decided to do a pine cone because I like all the texture of that pine cone. I stamped that there. Now, because I was a demonstrator, I was able to pre-order the framelits that you can purchase on March 1st. So, I then take my framelits, and like I said, I've got two of these, so I can put two of my frames on for this guy. Right? I've got a fern, and I've got a pine cone. Okay, and we're going to run that through our big shot. And I've already done it, just to save some time, so I've got my four pieces here. Okay, And then I'm going to stamp from the other set from our spring occasion, this Forever Lovely. Okay, It really got touted as a Valentine set, but I'm going to use the Wishing You Lovely Day sentiment, because that really could be for an anything card. It doesn't have to be for Valentine's. And then I'm just using my two and a quarter inch punch. And we can just pop that right out, and we can use that on our card. So, pretty easy, right? Alright, so there's all our pieces. Move these aside for now. Alright, so let's put this together. Those together pretty quickly. Now I'm going to use glue dots. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on my sentiment and what I do is I use two dimensionals and I just put them on my card face and then I put my sentiment right down on top okay I'm kind of love my line up my lovely word there with my little crease now I'm just gonna make these guys into stickers so I'm gonna just stick these on my glue dots and then I'm just gonna poke them Kind of underneath that circle and create, oop, I lost one, there it is, and create some more texture and fullness to the card. Now I am going to put the pine cone on a dimensional, pop that up, and then I decided I needed a little bling, so I decided to use the metallic pearls. These are the gold set, and they're self adhesive. So I've just added three for a little bling, and then I know, I know, stamp the envelope, right? If you're going to stamp the card, you might as well stamp the envelope. So I'm just going to bring that red fern in just like that. So, I know, lots of steps, and I did it pretty fast. But remember, all the instructions are on tutorials, so don't worry about that. I just really wanted to share that there's new uh, products that you can get for celebration. So if you put an order in, Use my host code if you're going to put an order in with me. I'd really appreciate it. And you'll be entered in my end of the month drawing. And secondly, uh, let's do some celebrating still. We've still got a month and a half to go. So let's have some fun. Go do some fun stamping this weekend, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye, guys.